How's it going everybody? So today we're going to learn how to make scroll animations in React and I have a quick demo of what this is going to look like. So if I were to scroll down we're going to have different animations popping up right there and we'll learn how to make each and every one of these and if you're also wondering how we made this beautiful nav bar right here with React routing and it being responsive and everything, the links to those videos are in the description below and without further ado let's get into it. So inside of your code editor we're going to make a new terminal and I'm going to npm i aos dash dash save. Now aos is basically animate on scroll, animation on scroll, and there's a link to a GitHub repo in the description below. Go ahead and open it up, and if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that there's a readme file. It talks through how to set it up, how to uh, do installation, how to use it, and uh, how to use it within your divs and inside your application. So we're just going to be following sort of this route, but I'm going to be showing you guys different types of animations that you can do for your application. All right, so now that it's done installing, I'm going to go ahead and import it into my app. So it's going to be very simply. So import AOS from AOS. And we also have to import the CSS. So it'll just be import quotes AOS slash dist slash AOS dot CSS. And so now we've imported um, AOS into our application. So now that we're done with installing our dependencies, we no longer need our terminal. As long as you have your app running, it should be fine. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. And inside of our function, I'm going to create a use effect. And using ES6 syntax, I wanna add a empty array bracket right here. And I'm going to initialize AOS, so it'll be very simple, so AOS dot init to initialize and that'll be it. So you might be wondering what this initialize even does. Basically it gives global animations to every single one of your things you want to animate. So let's say I have a grid of four boxes and I want them all to uh, have an animation length of two seconds. I would basically put inside of here a duration at 2000 and now every single animation when it's about to be triggered is going to take two seconds to complete. All right, so now I'm going to make a grid and I'm going to make five boxes. And these boxes are going to have different animations. So I'm going to make a div and I'm going to give it a class name of, let's say, grids. And inside of here, I'll do a div and I'll give it a class name of boxes. I'll do one here and I'll just copy this about five times and I'll change this to two three, four, and five. All right, I forgot to import and use effect, so I'm just gonna do it right here. Use effect, and I'll save that. And now if we go into our application, which is right here, we will see that we have our numbers appearing right here, but there's no animation to them, and th there's no boxes either. So let's make the boxes right now. So let's go back into our application, and I'm gonna make a new CSS file, and I'll call it boxes.css. Now it is different from box.css. This is from a previous video. It was just showing how to make a grid and a couple of boxes in the grid. The link to that uh, video is in the description below. But anyways, I digress. So inside of boxes.css, I'm going to uh, target the boxes class name. I'll give it a margin of 20 pixels, margin top of 150 pixels, background cooler, of RGB 198, 177, 198. Now I'm going to do over, oops, overflow hidden, and now I'm going to do a height, H E I G H T, of let's do 200 pixels, max height, and let's do 35 VH, oops, not VH, VG, uh, dash webkit. No, we don't need that. Okay, let's just do box shadow. So box shadow, let's do 0px, 12px, 18px, negative 6px, RGBA. And so here we'll do 0, 0, 0, 0 0.3. And so now we still have to import it. So let's just import it right in Xia. So it'll just be import dot slash boxes dot CSS. Now if we save it, and we go back to our application, we'll see that we now have our boxes. Nice. But let's add it, let's add a little bit of 
a shaping to it. So let's see where the border radius is. Let's add a border radius to it. Border radius. And I'll just do 10 pixels, 10 pixels, 10 pixels, and 10 pixels. And let's also put in our grid as well. So it'll just be simple grids. And we'll do max width of 50%. And let's do a margin auto. And so now if we go back to our application, we'll see that it's all in the middle. It's in a good spacious area. And now we're going to apply our animations to it. Alright, time for some animations. So, going back to our project, I'm going to go into pricing.js and it won't, our animations won't work for our first two boxes because they're already in front of us, but the third one, fourth, and fifth one will be affected. So, going back into our app, I'm going to go to our third one right here and I'm going to do a data dash AOS and let's do a fade up just so you guys can see what it looks like. So if I go back to our application, and now you can see there's no three, but if I go down, oh, it's a fade. Let's do fade left and right for the other two. So same thing here, we would do a data AOS, and let's do a fade uh, right, and right here let's do a data AOS, and let's do a fade uh, left. Now if we save it, go back to our application. Oh, so we have three fading up. Fading, I think, right. And fading left. Cool. Let's try out this other one. So I'm going to just copy this div right here. And I'll just do six instead. And instead of doing fade left, let's do a, let's flip. Let's flippity flip. Let's just do a flippity flip left. And so now if I were to go and we see the number six is right down here. So if I scroll down, oh, it did a flippity flip. Cool. So that covers how to do animations on scrolling in React.js. Of course, there will be a lot more animations. Uh, click the link in the description below to go to the repo to the guy that made AOS. And um, I'm excited to see what you guys make out of these scrolly animations mess around with it, mess around with the attributes, mess around with more animations, learn more about this. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.